all right people of the web world welcome back and this react for beginner tutorial series right so i am a dynamically generated machine which this guy made i am a clone of his and in this video we will see yep. how can we pass dynamic data within react and how can we render them into our browser let's check it out so the web applications of the modern world do use dynamic data at a lot of places like i cannot even count them for example you would have seen a form where you have typed your name and in the next step of that form they would greet you with your name inside that form for example i would type 01 dev and in the next step there would be a screen which says hey 01 dev welcome to our website and please enter your email address or something like that so making different forms for different users it's not possible because there are thousands of users out there at creating a new form for all of those not a good deal what do they do is use dynamic data how can they do that is what we'll see here so i have this react app that we generated in our previous projects and let's get rid of this logo we don't really need that um i will also comment this two examples out because um, we're done with that we're we are a pro with jsx and not jsx differences so let me uh, start my server once again so i'm pretty sure that's a still one and there we go it should not take much time but in the meantime what we want to do is create a component inside our src let's call this basics.js all right and this will be a functional component rfc yeah now what we have to do is register this component into our app component which is the parent component so import basics from basics right let's um, register that here basics all right um first i need to create a p now if i write here hello people of the web world now let's check what do we have here yeah it prints hello people of the web world but as you can see this data is same whatever we have written here what if this web changes what if this is a dynamic content i mean words can change um so if we have to create the three of them then now web world net world and social work so now we have three uh, paragraphs but we have three line of codes as well and this is quite repetitive so what we can do is we can get rid of it and pass dynamic data into it for that we have to use the curly braces as such in between uh, the sentence that we have written or pretty much anywhere inside this we can write our javascript syntax so if i write console dot log this is inside console and let's check that here press f12 and you can see here this is inside console is printed if you want to make different worlds for that right so what we can do is we can create a object here uh, a simple basic object here const worlds yeah this is our object uh, of course and equal to here yeah so say world one so this is the key and the value of it is web and here this is our second world this is our third world this could be net and this would be social all right now 
what we can do here is um, let's get rid of this console log here and access that object here so to access an object we will write the object name which is worlds dot the property name which is our key so world one now if i save this and check it in my browser i can see hello people of the web world is printed so we haven't written web here but it is taking that value from this property of this object now if you have to use different words all you have to do is just copy the same line and write two and three so this is two and three all the three words are printed net social and web now if we had to change this value to let's say under and now we can see here hello people of the underworld is printed so you don't really have to go and change your content everywhere inside your template or because you might be using this at 10 different components so you can just write your javascript inside your html and then that data can be provided from an object so that's how you access dynamic data in react using javascript you can also print things like um, time the time is then curly braces and write uh, date dot now i believe that's the function which returns yeah the time so this is the time right now in milliseconds that's why it's in this format so that's how we can evaluate our javascript inside our html and this is a very basic but very important concept that's how we learn big things right we need to clear our small things at a very nice level so with with the knowledge of those small things we can learn we can achieve to learn a bigger thing that's um yeah, that's a lot of talk but it's very important that we know these basics of react this will be used across all the projects that you would possibly do in react in the next video we will talk about props how we can pass properties from one component to another so stay tuned for the next video and if you like what i've done so far please press the subscribe button thank you